crowd. Well, if you are oh. planning on taking a trip this coming Memorial Day weekend, you can expect a lot of company. Yeah, AAA expects more than 41 million Americans to travel 50 miles or more for the unofficial start of summer. That is up nearly 5% from last year. And gas prices are also up. In fact, Washington and Oregon are ranked third and sixth, respectively, as the most expensive states to fill up right now. If you want to get the most out of your tank, Tony has five tips to help you in today's Behind the Wheel. Well, gas prices tend to go up during warmer weather, so let's see if we can save you some money and help you make the most of your mileage, starting with tip number one. Check your tire pressure. Just eight pounds of underinflation can increase your rolling resistance by 5%. That's a waste of fuel. Tip number two, use your cruise. Cruise control brings consistency to your driving, and on a long trip, it can add up to 6% in your fuel efficiency. Tip number three, if your car has an economy mode, use it. It cuts the engine when you stop and sets the transmission to use the highest gear possible at any given speed. High speeds and low gears can burn up to 45% more fuel than you need to. Number four, smooth out your driving. If you're constantly flooring it and hitting the brakes, you're wasting fuel. Driving technique alone can save you 30% in your fuel efficiency. And number five, if you've got junk in the trunk, dump it. Lighter loads mean better fuel economy. An extra 100 pounds in the trunk can reduce fuel economy by 2%. On a long trip, it adds up. By the way, if you want to save money and you live in the USA, you're already off to a great start. In England, they're paying about $6 for a gallon equivalent. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. Good advice. More, most importantly, was that dirty laundry in the person bag, or did you guys write <laughs> No fun? comment. A quick tip, if you check your tire pressure, use the recommendation on your door jam, not your tire. It oh. seems counterintuitive, oh. but that number on your tire is the maximum pressure you could use for the maximum load for that tire. Okay. The door jam, that's your manufacturer of your car, saying here's what you should be running to actually get the car's best efficiency. That is a great tip, that because is. I think all of us go to the, think, tire, the tire, right? Of course you think it's the tire. That's the maximum. You don't want wow. that. Wow. That's between great 30 and 35. See? I have okay. never known that. Yeah. You are just a <laughs> wealth of information. <laughs> Thank you and, so much. And, and so they, they're making the cars now, some of them, to where when you stop at a stop sign, it shuts off. Yeah, the auto yeah. off. Yeah. 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 I used to have a car like that back in high school. I just died. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then by pushing it, you're really saving fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Just coasting on down. Yeah, a lot of downhills in Kansas. Yes. <laughs> yeah.